Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today I am going to be covering on how to communicate between Python and Arduino. Um, the reason I decided to do this video was because I remember a couple of years ago when I was trying to do it, I couldn't figure out how to do it and the videos were pretty bad. I'm sure there's better videos now, but anyway, so let's get started. The way we're going to communicate with Python is through the serial port. So the first thing we need to do is import a serial, which if you don't have, I'll leave a link in the description um, on this page and just download using the Python wheel for Python 2 and Python 3. I'm currently using Python 2. I used to use Python 3 and the reason I'm using Python 2, I don't remember what module it was, but it was only on Python 2 at the time, so I downloaded it and installed everything else to Python 2. So at the moment, I can't really be bothered to change back to Python 3, but once I get my new PC set up and whatnot, I'll probably upgrade to Python 3. So that's out of the way. Um, hopefully you've imported serial. You'll also need this code, which is from my previous video in the Arduino series, which is going to be a different series to this, but I'll leave a link in the description as well. Um, you'll be able to find all of this code but you just need to write this else if statement, which basically allows us to turn it off. So as I said, we're going to be communi communicating via the serial port. And the first thing we do is we create a variable and we're going to call it Arduino data. And we'll call it, we'll, you set it up like this, serial dot serial. And you have the board rate and you also have the com, which for us is com4. Um, you can find out which port, which com you're on by going onto your port and it will tell you here. So mine's com4 as it says. Don't worry about capital letters, that doesn't matter. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two functions. Um, and I am going to call it LED on. That's not an on. LED on and Let's do it like this, Arduino data, and you use the dot write function. And here we are just going to put one. Also, another thing worth noting, I think if you're on Python 3, you might have to put, so write bracket B, um, like that. I'm not, less, I'm not sure you do, but you don't have to do it on Python 2, I know that for a fact. I'm not even sure what it does entirely, but anyway, so LED off is going to be our other function. So we're going to say Arduino data dot right, and we are going to use the number zero. So that's our two functions. Now you'd think, so hopefully, actually you've copied this, you paused my video and copied this code quickly. It isn't too much. And if I remember, I'll leave it in the description, possibly. Um, so we want to verify this, mark on pilot, and once that's done, we want to upload it. Also, obviously, make sure your your LED that's connected on your board is obviously on the correct pin and whatnot. So we've set that up, and you would think now if we did LED on, it would work. But as you can see, it doesn't. And <laughs> this is my second time actually recording this video because I've never used the port like this. I usually use Tekinta, which I'll be using in a different video like so I can make buttons. I think it's really cool. So what I decided you actually need, well, what I realized you need to do, I think there must be some kind of delay. We're gonna create a variable called t. We'll set that equals zero. And we're gonna say while t is less than zero, uh, less than, I played around with numbers and when you're printing it, it's obviously a smaller number, but I think 3 million was the number that actually made it work. So we're going to do t plus equals 1. And that's it. And then we're going to come out of here and we're going to do LED on. Hopefully that will work for us. So if we now click F5 and run it. It's taking ages. I don't know. Didn't do that a moment ago. Or maybe it's already done. 
Uh, how on, I'd like to put this at the bottom so I know something's done. Let's just say done at the end. <laughs> so we know it's reached there. Okay, so that hasn't worked. But then it's just a matter of making this number bigger, I guess. Interesting. So a moment ago, when I tested it, that was working. And if I make the number smaller, that's not going to do anything. So let's make it 4 million. That's very interesting. Okay, so let me try doing it like this. I am going to make it smaller than say 2000. But I'm going to say if t divided by 10, which just means if it divides into that by 0, we're going to say print. So we're not printing everyone, everything, but every few. So we'll print t. So that's obviously been enough time, so that's weird, I'm not sure why, you just need to find the right time, I think, I mean what, I did import the time module, but even then the times were different every single time I did it, the processor, um, so I don't know why that happened, but hopefully you got that working, um, I don't think this is the best way to do it, as I said in my next video I'm actually going to be doing using Tekinter. So I'm going to end this video here just in case people, for people who aren't that interested in using Tekinter, and then I'll do one with Tekinter. So I hope that was useful, and thank you for watching.